this is Elisa, and welcome to In the Studio with Elisa. And today, I just kind of wanted to get you acclimated with my studio. It's new, and I don't think I ever finished showing you it. It's very messy right now, I'm going to warn you. I had a New Year's Eve get-together, and I'm cleaning up as we speak, but things are all over the place. I've got a big project in the works. Um, this is actually the corner when you walk in the door, and I set up a little impromptu kind of photo booth here, and we had a, a blast with that, but that's not actually where the lights go. The lights go over by my work table, but that's what that's all about. I still haven't gotten cleaned up from it, but let me show you some of the things we've been working on. Here's some of my mixed media pieces I've been doing. Oh, there's the confetti from New Year's Eve. <laughs> so, I've, so I've just set up, I have so much stuff that I've made that's going into a project I'm working on that I kind of just have it everywhere. But I don't think you saw these tables set up the last time you were in my studio. I've been doing my mixed media projects on these two tables here. As you can see, there's a bunch laid out over there. I did find some nice cushy fold-up chairs. They're really, really cushy and they're comfortable to work on and I was happy to find those at Target actually. But here's um, one of my workstations. As you can see I have all kinds of stuff uh, set up that I'm working with. My cabinets have been completed. As you can see my sink is in. Everything's ready to go there. I've been using it. I actually have had a friend who was closing her shop and uh, she sold me that refrigerator. So now I have a little refrigerator. And, you know, like I said, just excuse the mess because I did have a, um, a party in here on, on um, New Year's. My stove's in. Everything's here. Everything's ready to go. And I started filling up different drawers with different things. That's my um, packing drawer and some paints in there. Let's see what I got over here. I have my cheapy paints, I have some paint markers, some inks, and different stuff, so that's a cool way to put those in a drawer where I can find everything. Over here, I have uh, a drawer full of stencils, I mean, lots of stencils. So you could use, like, you know, cheapy mats for, you know, when you're eating. I found that in the bargain bin for, like, $3, and that's great with my jelly plate to do mono printing. And there's my stove, my old stove from the house. And see, some decorations still out. <laughs> um, here are some pieces I'm working on. They're in the works. And it's been freezing cold here. So I haven't actually been in the studio for a few days. I've been working in my house. This is where my computer goes. And I took the computer in the house. It was, I mean, I'm sure lots of you are having a lot colder weather than we did here in Northern Florida. But I tell you, it was 18 degrees or something like that, so my computer went in the house. <laughs> Here's my two closets, and I'm doing a bit of reorganizing because I found that my mixed media work's being done over on those tables more, so I'm starting to move some of my paints over there and, and different papers and stuff, so here's my setup for right now. My mold making stuff, and there's some decorations from, <laughs> from the party. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I, it's still in the works. It's gotten messier since I've been working and working and working. You know, things don't go back where exactly they're supposed to go. Um, that's my work table right there. I'll show you some of the things I've been working on. Um, you'll see this, the, the dream pendant with the butterfly. You'll see that on, on next week's Polymer Clay TV. I'm going to show how I made that. I picked up some cool tools from Martha Stewart. They were on clearance and I grabbed those. I, I've got a little Lazy Susan and some different things I've been working on. Let me show you that piece. That's a real cool piece. I'm not sure where I'm going with that yet, but <laughs> it's in the works. I got more stencils there, my markers. And I hit the haul the other day. Let me tell you, you see all that wrapping paper? Um, the ones that are not the Indian paper were a dollar a roll. There was a couple I paid two dollars a roll, but the two dollar rolls, let me show you. I don't know if you can get the glare is pretty bright on that one. But it's a really cool, like metallic piece. But here's some of the other designs. A dollar a roll, how do you pass that up? 
But then I had spent $6 for these Indian papers, and they're super cool. Oop, there goes one. But look at these um, Indian papers. They're handmade Indian papers. There's two papers per roll. And I paid 6 bucks for them and thought I was getting the steal of century. Well, they marked them down to 3 bucks, so of course I had to get more. <laughs> and I've already used them in a few of my mixed media pieces. That's the one that just fell. So, here's the studio from this. Oh, that's bright. Sorry about that. But that's where it's at right now. It's still in the works. There's my ugly cabinet. I only got a couple magnets sent to me. If you still want to send magnets to pretty it up, I'm always welcome, welcoming you to do that. But for now, it's kind of like been the catch-all for stuff. Actually, let me show you this picture. <laughs> This is my mother, probably, I want to say she was in her 40s there, and she was one of my biggest artistic influences, and she's passed away, she had Alzheimer's and whatnot, and the funniest thing was, I was going through all the beads that she has, and when I say she had a lot of beads, I'm not exaggerating, because, wait, let me just see if I can show you this. There's a giant tub back there. I mean, it's like a giant tub. That is just black beads. Only black beads. And that giant tub's only like clear and white. You can't really see with these in, in front. Let me see them. I mean, it's a giant tub of beads and stuff. And that's all just clear and white beads. It's a little dark because it's in the cabinet. But all this stuff was stuff that my mother had collected for years and years and years and years and years. I mean, that's just a, a small portion, let me tell you. Because, let me show you something. <laughs> Sorry, I don't want to make you dizzy, but I, this is all separated by colors for the most part. That's green beads. So that entire tote is green beads, and there's all kinds of extras there. <laughs> wait, 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 I, I'm not done. Seriously, there's all these beads here in different colors, red and whatnot back. And it goes on and on and on. When I tell you my mother had a lot of beads, I'm not exaggerating. All those totes. I mean, seriously, it's a lot of stuff. So what I was telling you about my mom and all her collection of beads, and, I, and, and you know, the funny thing about it was, my mom used to like keep track of her beads, seriously. And she'd be like, okay, there was the 33 beads and there's only 25, okay? There were 17 large green, and I, this was, I found this in a bag, and there's only 15. There's 24 green crystals. I mean, seriously, on all these bazillions of beads that she had, two large green, only 23. Lee must have taken them. Okay, well, my mother called me Lee. My sister calls me Lee. Like, it was just like my nickname. But out of all those bazillions and trillions of beads, she noticed that I must have taken, literally, seven beads. And here's two more from 17. So literally, she noticed nine missing beads out of all those beads. So I just thought that was funny and I'd share that with you because my mom always used to say, don't steal my beads, don't steal my beads. Because I, you know, I, of course, loved beads as well. So I thought that was funny. And that was uh, my mom, who I loved dearly. And, you know, look, she loved color, too. She was, she was definitely in love with color and, and definitely a big influence on my life. So I thought you'd enjoy that story. <laughs> so I definitely will be creating a lot. And really, that's the idea of the show. It's just going to be a little glimpse into my studio, what I've been doing, and sharing some of the new projects and things I'm working on. So I hope you'll join me. I'm not sure how often I'm going to do it, probably once a month. And you'll know because I'll send out a message, but I got to get this studio organized a little bit better. I know it looks messy. That's because I've been working. It is messy. But anyways, it'll clean up and you'll get to see it shape up and, and things go where they're supposed to go. And... Uh, It'll be an evolution, and I, and I hope you'll join me on this journey. So thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.